and welcome back to the Breakdown How To. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a t shirt shop using WooCommerce and WordPress. Before we get on in that, though, I want to remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. Also, if you've yet to set up your WordPress site, you'll need to do that to follow this tutorial. You can do that by going to the breakdown.xyz slash Bluehost. First link down below to get a awesome website running WordPress set up automatically with Bluehost for just $3.95 a month. It'll include a free domain name as well as free SSL, which is definitely needed for e-commerce of any sort. So uh, yeah, that is super important. Nevertheless, guys, let's go ahead and uh, jump on into the video. So what do we need to do to sell t-shirts? Well, we're going to be using Printful to sell t-shirts. And the reason we're going to be using Printful is because they have tons of awesome options for t-shirts, designs, their prices are great. And personally, I use them myself. We use them all the time. We love Printful, so that's what we're going to be going with here. You can check out Printful at the second link down below to uh, sign up for an account and everything. We're going to be signing up for one in this video as well. But uh, if you click the link down below, it does help support the channel, so we really do appreciate that, and it's at no cost to you. So we do ask that maybe go log in through that if you want to help support us, and then uh, come back to this tutorial. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. So the first thing we need to do is scroll down here to the bottom where we have this plugins tab. We need to then click an add new plugin and then we need to uh, come back over here. Wait, we're loading. We're loading. Come back over here where we can then search Printful, right? P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L and hit enter. And here is the Printful plugin right there. It is. Click install now. Wow, they have 10,000 installations now. That's amazing. And click that and click activate. Boom. Now with that, it will activate the Printful app. These guys started with Shopify and now have moved into WooCommerce and so many other different uh, platforms to allow t-shirt distribution. Now on the side over here, we have this Printful button. If we click that, it will then launch in to uh, Printful setup here almost automatically. So as you can see, we need to connect a Printful account. To do that, click connect and it will load up Printful here. Once Printful is loaded, it will want you to confirm your WooCommerce account, right? So go ahead and click approve there. And then it will actually want you to uh, set up a Printful account, I believe, which is not an issue. Hopefully you've uh, helped support our channel and done it through the link down below. And you can just go ahead and connect an existing account. However, if you have it, it's all great. We have it with this one. So I'm going to sign up for a new account here. I'm going to enter my email and password. Once you've entered an email and secure password, you can go ahead and create the account there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my last pass. Now we need to sync product data, right? So it's syncing our product data. Now we have a digital product on this store. Printful won't really touch that. It'll be here, but they'll say, you know, that's a digital product. We're going to leave that alone. No issues there. You also need to confirm your email address, which isn't an issue, but we can go ahead and add our our first product here. I'm going to go ahead and obviously we want to set up a t-shirt shop, right? Okay. Our product synced there. Now we can add our first product again. Now we obviously want to do a t-shirt here. We can see all of the uh, t-shirts we have. Now there's a few different options here for t-shirts. So go with whatever you want, but I just want to see all of their t-shirts here. And then I don't want to go with the lowest and the cheapest here. Typically cheap means lower quality. And I can say for myself, these Jersey shirts are way better than these Gildan shirts. Gildan shirts are great, but I like the Jersey Belen canvas shirts better. So I'm going to go with that. And now I just want to create a simple white t-shirt with a uh, very simple design on it. Personally, I like to allow all sizes and I'm just going to add text to this t-shirt and I'm just going to say um, Nick and Patrick Dot com, right? That's all I'm going to do is just get a simple, we'll just do a Nick and Patrick shirt right here. The reason I'm doing that is that is what this website is. It's a Nick and Patrick dot com website. You can actually go and buy this shirt, by the way. I don't know why you would, but um, you could go buy this shirt. There might be some other shirts over there, depending on how much time I have and whether or not I decide to make this an actual store. Uh, <laughs> it really just does depend. Let's go with uh, Oswald. I think that's actually what the logo is for Nick and Patrick. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller here. I don't know. This isn't meant to look great, guys, but I am going to uh, to make it just because why not? So there's that text color here. We can either choose white, which obviously means we'll need to choose a different shirt color, or we can choose like a gray. I think the gray looks best. That's a little high. 
maybe put it right about there. So boom, there is that. Again, I don't know why anybody would, <laughs> would get to this specific t-shirt, but that's how easy it is to set it up there. You could also, uh, soon you'll be able to add in clip, clip art, and we can go over here and select all colors, select certain colors. So if we're going with this, we want to select wider, co lighter colors. Right, and you can see that didn't look good, but Ash, that looks okay. You know, you can go through and kind of uh, select which one of these you want. Now, I wouldn't recommend having both Black and Black Heather, right? You, I would choose one of these because it's going to freak people out otherwise. I think the uh, Black Heather actually looks better there. Asphalt, no. And Dark Gray, no. Okay, so there you go. So you're going to have White, Black, and uh, Ash down here. Ash is a, a little bit of a lighter gray. So uh, there we go. That's basically it. That's how you can design a, uh, a simple shirt. And go ahead and go to proceed to mock-ups. And we can see how this is going to look. You know, wrinkled mock-ups, main mock-ups, men's mock-ups, all of that stuff. And a mock-up format is going to be JPG. I would recommend that to uh, make things smaller. Looks good to me. We want to choose the main mock-up image here. And I would recommend uh, choosing it on a person. I like to have people on my sites. Product descriptions are auto-filled, but uh, Nick and Patrick logo shirts is what I will call this. You can come in here and change all these. I would recommend uh, in doing this, right? This t-shirt is everything you've dreamed of and more. You know, that's not really authentic. So I'll actually write a product description really, really quickly for this. So there we go. That's my little product description. Rep the Nick and Patrick logo everywhere you go. I honestly don't know why you would want to, but buying this shirt does support what we do. So at least you'll have that going for you. I went ahead and left. That is 100% cotton. Um, Heather colors contain polyester. So that's cool. Fabric uh, weight, shoulder to shoulder taping, all that stuff is uh, is pretty important to leave. You make me remove shoulder to shoulder taping if you want to, you know, whatever. Model is wearing size M, right? Medium size. He's six foot two, and uh, all this stuff. That's really good information there. Um, we want to do Imperial because most of our people are living in the United States. We want to leave the size guide preview there, and then go ahead and proceed to pricing. Now you can set your pricing however you want. Right, 52% profit is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and set this shirt at $19.99 because, again, I want to incentivize people to buy this one. Most of our shirts will actually be priced at a uh, $24.99 price on this site. But for this one, I'll price it lower because, again, I have absolutely no clue why anyone would buy it. Now, here's an interesting thing. Once you get to the 2XL, prices start going up, so your margins are going to start going down. So over this one, I'm actually going to do it at $20.99 and then do this one at $21.99. We're not making much on a 3XL shirt or a 4XL shirt rather, but you also won't sell many 4XL shirts. Most of the shirts you sell will be medium, large, and extra large with 2X after that, then 3X, then 4X. Small, you might filter in somewhere. We don't sell many small shirts on our stores. So um, there's that. Publish this product. This product will be visible in your online store. That's what we want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a category for this just called uh, t-shirts, right? And you actually can't create categories from here. So I'll go ahead and do that um, from the store once we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and submit to store. And just like that, it's going to add this t-shirt to our store. You want to follow this process with every store or t-shirt you've set up and you'll be good to go. So once this is done, I actually want to come back over to here and um, set everything up for you guys. And as you can see, Printful has taken us to this awesome dashboard where we can see all the orders for the last seven days, our profit, our total order dollar value. We can go into settings here. And while this is syncing, I'll actually come over here to settings and show you guys uh, what exactly you can do. So calculate for products shipped to North Carolina and California, right? So if you have a sales tax in those two states, you do have to pay it. Disable SSL. Do not do this, right? Um, that's not a good idea. You can select what kind of shipping you want to have people to be able to choose from. I'm just going to leave it all there. No reason not to, in my opinion, unless that you think that would overwhelm people, which it could. Uh, all of your shipping, by the way, is going to be automatically calculated by them. So you do not have to set up any shipping whatsoever. That is freaking awesome. Now we can also jump over here to status and see anything going on in the store. Make sure everything's working, which is great. 
this is still syncing, and there it goes. It finally finished, and there we go. Hey, we've imported your products to your store. Go ahead and sync them now or sync them as orders come in. If there are products you don't wish to fulfill through Printful, you can mark them as ignored, right? So if we say you want to ignore a product, we can do that, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is synced up by refreshing the data, and then we'll be good to go. There is this thing up here that says your store is not ready yet. Finish setting it up. And uh, so your store is connected to Printful, API is set, everything's okay on the store status over here. But on their website, it's saying that uh, we need to finish setting up the store. So I'm gonna click that and see what we need to do. Okay, we need to set up billing, which is a super important. So I'll go ahead and set that up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so just like that, our payment method is set up and submitted. And now we can go back over here to orders and manage all of our orders. We can go up here to file library to manage any and all files we have uploaded. We can go to store, right, to see our stores and add products right there. And we can go over here to uh, warehouse, which is going to show us all of their different fulfillment options and be able to see where returns can be sent to and all of that awesome stuff. And then we can go to reports to be able to see any and all reports we have. Guys, your setup is uh, now going. Your store is set up. If you want to add new products and, and, and add new products you should, you can come here and do that in uh, in this section. So I'm going to go ahead and add a t-shirt real quick. That way we can have two on the site. And then I'll show you how to add them to a t-shirt category once they're uh, on your site if you didn't have one already created. Um, so yeah, I'm going to create a t-shirt real quick. All right, so we can see here my product has been added. And I actually forgot to do a product name. So I'll show you guys how to fix that as well. So we've done that. Let's go over here to our WooCommerce site, right? Our WordPress backend here. And now if we go to all products. We'll have two t-shirts in our products field. As you can see, the Nick and Patrick logo shirt and the unisex t-shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and really quickly edit this one because I need to change this uh, name, right? It's not the short sleeve unisex t-shirt. It's the always keep learning t-shirt. So let's change that to always keep learning shirt right like that. I want to also change the product title there, the product URL. Wouldn't recommend doing that, but this site just went live and not a big deal there. We also need to add a new category over here to the right. And I'm just going to name this t-shirts right like that. You can then have subcategories here. I'm not going to have that on this side. However, it can be helpful on others. I'm going to remove it from the uncategorized tab there. Click update. And now this uh, will change the name on our website as well as uh, make sure that it's in the correct category. We then need to go over and add in the other product, our logo t-shirt to the t-shirts category as well. I'm just going to do a quick edit for that and Boom, there we go. Now, if we go to nickandpatrick.com, right, slash shop here, we will be able to see that we, sure enough, have t-shirts in our store in addition to our non-t-shirt product, our ebook on how to grow a YouTube channel down here. So as we can see, boom, we've got t-shirts and we've got our ebook side by side. Now, if we go in here to say this t-shirt, we can see it's on a model there. But if we go in here, we've got our model here. But what if you wanted more images than this? Well, you can come back over here and clicking edit on it right there. And now we can get more mock-ups of this t-shirt and be able to, uh, you know, upload those, which I think the more images you have, the better, guys. So that is always always important. But nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is how you can start your own t-shirt shop, right? And if we go to the t-shirts category here, we'll be able to see both of our shirts right side by side. If you have any questions, please post those in the comments section down below. I am more than happy to help you out in any way, shape, or form. I love this stuff. I live off this stuff. That's why I love teaching this stuff. So be sure to uh, do that. Also, if you want any of these shirts, you can find them linked in the description down below. So uh, this is a live store. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it costs me nothing to keep it live. So might as well do that. And I uh, figured you guys might want like an always keep learning shirt. I, I thought this was a a pretty cool shirt here. So anyway, guys, let me enjoy this video again. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. This has been The Breakdown How-To. My name is Nick, and I am out, guys. Peace.